let us play at the end again as we like to do. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in Full Media Part 61, C1322. In today's episode, we worked with Fawns and Does, which was our new title for the piece. And in particular, we completed a line energy diagram and we updated the backbone and polyphon lines here, which you can see here and here. And we added flute and oboe, which you can see further on. Uh, perhaps the most interesting thing is after we did the energy chart, which looks like this, um, with our usual multipliers, uh, we kept th thrashing between how many port parts are there to this piece. We thought there was the gawky fawn and the svelte doe, and we ended up kind of switching that around. We are coming back to four or five parts here, as you can see, and we're still in progress. Um, what helped us move forward is that we took and exported just the backbone and the polyphone into a MIDI file, this file here, so that we could differentiate them and play them. And as you can see, there is now a clear upper part and a lower part. When we started, these upper and lower parts were crisscrossing each other. So um, we had learned from a previous stream working with the recorder trio that it was sometimes helpful to separate the upper from the lower parts. So we did that. And that MIDI file helped us get that clarified. So now this is kind of the upper part and the lower part. And how it particularly helped was we were going in and changing the upper part. Well, the lower part, we really like hearing it as a flute. And then we picked a place to hear it as an oboe, and then go back to flute, and then to oboe, and then back to flute. And you can actually see the impact of that here. This is what it looks like. The blue line is with the polyphon and that's what it looks like with the backbone using oboe so together that up and down blue line is the contribution from timbre and then this is the contribution from well, let's let's show the whole thing Got everything in there? What are we doing here? Too many things going on at once. There we go. So yeah, so this is the pure scale change. This is the uh, harmony multiplier and the duration multiplier, which we're using at a tenth for now. In any event, we got something that's starting to look more pleasing. So what we're going to do is play the new version for you with the timbres and that'll take us home. Here we go and again we'll try to follow, we will follow along on the left hand side.
So that concludes today's stream. Um, we like how it's shaping up. We're still learning a lot about using the energy charts. Um, our ideas for next time are to continue working with fawns and does. And also we do want to get to that C1322 scale. A shout out to Music Man 400 who appreciate your comments and your shares and your YouTube channel. Always good to hear from people knowing that you're watching and interested and they in particular music man talked about energy charts that they learned to use in music school and using uh, music animations that are driven by the sounds which as you know we do here so tune in next time we look forward to seeing you and as always keep on streaming and thank you